G'day guys, and today we are going to be having a look at the Skywatcher Evilux 82ED Refractor Telescope. So let's go check it out. So here it is, Skywatcher Evilux 82ED Refractor Telescope. Now today we're going to be talking about the specs of this telescope and how well it is or suited for astrophotography. So what do you get with your little ED Refractor Telescope? Well, you get this aluminium case here. It's all padded and lined on the inside and it's all cut out specifically for your uh, your little telescope. It will help with uh, it get being knocked around and bounced around if you do a little bit of traveling with it, so it'll keep it well protected. Now, you also get this little uh, adapter here. This is for your cameras, um, if you're gonna uh, be shooting some astrophotography with this refractor. You also get your protective uh, focuser. Um, cap to be honest with you I just end up throwing them away but it's been a while since I've owned a refractor too you also get a Vixen dovetail plate with your uh, with your refractor so that makes mounting onto uh, your mounts or um, even probably could suit some uh, camera tripods too for a bit of visual um, use as well what you don't get is this right here this is the Evilux 82 ED um, focal reducer. Now, this is sold separately, so if you are an astrophotographer or you are looking at one of these for astrophotography, you will have to buy this separately. So let's talk specs on the Skywatcher Evilux 82ED refractor telescope. It has a focal length of 530mm, which is quite respectable. It has a uh, aperture of 82mm, hence the name, Evilux 82ED. And it has a Focal ratio of f6.4, so it's not the fastest scope in the world, it would be more mid-range, I would say, um, you could put it in. Now, the scope itself has an adjustable dew shield. It looks quite small here, but when you extend the dew shield out, look at the size of this thing. It's The dew shield is about half the size of the scope itself, so that's pretty cool, with two lock-in screws you can see on the side there. Let's just extend that back. Okay, so as we move down the, the scope to the uh, the back end of it, we have the 2.4 inch dual stage with 10 to 1 focus. Uh, there we go. It feels quite smooth and quite nice actually. And on the actual draw tube itself, it has uh, your measurement scales. So if you're into astrophotography, it's always handy to have uh, your, your measurement scale there to work out exactly where it was your perfect focus was. Now speaking of astrophotography, there is an actual special adapter for this little uh, Evilux 82 ED refractor telescope. And that is it right here. I'm going to show you in a, in a bit on how to just install this little uh, little uh, adapter to help with your uh, solid imaging setup. Now let's talk the business end of the refractor telescope, the glass. Now the Evilux 82 ED is a two lens element ED design and it's new ED glass, Skywatcher um, have mentioned. One of the things that they uh, didn't mention was what sort of glass they actually use in this doublet ED design. They want us to focus more on the quality of the stars rather than what sort of glass is inside the scope. So for you guys that uh, love to know what sort of glass is in your telescopes, I can't really answer that with this scope here, sorry. Now if you're a visual observer and you're looking at this refractor telescope for that use, then it comes with a compression, copper compression band on the inside there to keep your eyepieces uh, centered and it works quite well actually. Now that's all I can really give you an advice for visual uh, astronomy with this little refractor telescope because I haven't done any visual um, work with it and I'm more of a astrophotographer than a visual observer. Now for the astrophotographers out there, I'm gonna show you how to set this little refractor up for astrophotography. The first thing you wanna do is remove the visual backing off of the uh, off the draw tube. Pretty simple, 
just unscrews like so. And then you grab your, your camera adapter and you just screw that on. Now, some refractor telescopes, um, in order to add your imaging train onto it, they use the visual um, adapter and the screws with the self-centering uh, copper insert. The disadvantages of this is that sometimes your alignment can be a little bit out and as astrophotographers, we want everything to be as solid as possible. So, what this little Evilux 82ED allows us to do is screw our camera adapter straight into the focus tube itself. Gives it a nice solid uh, connection there and no flex. Now, the reducer. So again, pretty simple. All we do is unscrew the, uh, the cap off the reducer and screw that. Screw that onto the back of your camera adapter. Now the camera adapter itself can rotate. If you just undo these little little knobs here, look. as you can see, it can rotate. Now the rotation itself, I think they probably could have put a little bit more effort into this. Um, it's it's not exactly smooth, and as you can see exactly solid so it does move about you can rotate and then when you do it back up it becomes a solid piece again doesn't move so if you've got your camera on the back of it it is going to add a little bit more extra weight uh, on it and when you undo these knobs it is going to move around just a little bit okay so I don't specifically know the actual back focus distance of this refractor telescope what I can tell you is that when I was using my uh, Nikon Z7, I was at about 23 mil on the uh, on the focusing uh, draw tube here, and then I had a um, I had a 16.5, 20, roughly about 30 millimeters around about 30 to 40 millimeters of um, additional uh, M48 um, two inch uh, spacing for the actual camera itself. So this reducer and setup is basically suited for a 50, around that 50, 55 millimeter DSLR um, uh, sensor plane setup. Whereas this one here um, with my Z7, I had to add that extra spacing in there to get it around that um, DSLR base type setup of about 50, 50, 55 mils. I can't really remember. It's been a long time since I used a, uh, a DSLR. So the next thing I want to talk about is what sort of camera is this little refractor suited for in astrophotography? I'll tell you this, it's not suited for full frame cameras. I would not use a full frame camera and expect pinpoint sharp stars corner to corner and I'm going to show you exactly why in a little bit. What I would say is that this, cat, this little refractor here, the largest sensor I would use on it would maybe be an APS-C. So again, it does bring the affordability level back in because you're not buying yourself a full frame camera, you, know, you can use your uh, APS-C size camera or if you've got a cold astronomy color camera like this, um, it will suit it just perfectly. Now this is the QHY294 um, color camera and the smaller chip on this will be absolutely perfect. Now with this smaller chip you can shoot a wide range of those beautiful uh, go-to targets like Orion, Andromeda, Seven Sisters and even the lagoon and if you uh, position the, the scope right you can even fit in the trifid. Now when it comes to also astrophotography and picking your camera you want to make sure you're picking the right sort of pixels for your sampling rate. If you're under sampling your images are going to show less tracking errors 
However, you're going to lose probably that little bit more resolution and detail in your image. If you're the other end of the spectrum and you're oversampling, then your images are going to show up those tracking errors really easily and really quickly. So we want to be somewhere in between. And this little refractor telescope suits anywhere between a pixel size of about 2.3 to about 4.5. So with this QHY camera, it does just that. I can shoot in a high 46.8 megapixel mode of about a pixel of, um, size of about 2.3. Or then I can adjust it to an 11 pixel, a megapixel mode of about uh, 4.6, I think it was. I can't remember. So, as you can see, this little refractor telescope is quite versatile in the sort of uh, cameras and sensors you might want to use. So, a little information about the actual reducer itself it is a 0.90x reducer, which brings this refractor telescope down to 480 millimeters and a focal ratio of f5.8, which makes it very respectable in the terms of light gathering capability. Again right in that um, middle range bracket, I'd say. I'd say a quick scope would be between uh, an F2 to F4, and then from F4 to say about uh, F6 would be mid range, and then from about oh, F6, F7 to um, beyond is, uh, is quite slow. So it really puts this telescope right in the mid range of uh, astrophotography light gathering capabilities. So what do I think of the little Skywatch Evilux 82ED? Well, it's a pretty cool little refractor telescope. It's lightweight, like I mentioned, uh, about 2.4 kilos. It can easily probably be used with your um, Skywatcher um, Star Adventurer mount there with a, uh, a camera sitting on the back of it. Probably will be starting to get to your, uh, your limits though with that little uh, Scope watch your adventure amount. However, it is capable and therefore it is capable for being a grab and go, take away on your trip in a plane, something like that sort of thing for a bit of a ob observing or capturing some of those uh, deep space objects that you may not be able to capture from either the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere. Well guys, that brings us to the end of the review for the Skywatcher Evolux 82ED refractor telescope. If you've enjoyed this review or found it useful, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you plan on getting yourself one of these little refractors yourself. Or if this is the first time you've uh, seen one of my videos, please check out some of the others and maybe subscribe. Alright guys, so that's it for me. So until next time, take it easy. See you.